love the song. I love it. It explains my life. It explains God's goodness in a way. And I want you to please put the lyrics up because those words are powerful. I mean, the writers describe God in a way that, you know, it's just, it, was, it must have been an encounter. That person knows God and God knows them. And the words, the best part of the song for me, it says, through my transition, God held my position. Oh my goodness. I, that means for every stage, everywhere I have been, God has held me up. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. I mean, I've seen people make mistakes in places I've doubled and their lives have never remained the same. And innocently have just walked in and walked out. Honestly. So join us as this song is, is a life, life giver. So we pray that you'll be ministered to. Amen.
enough that Jesus died it is enough I'm one here to tell you it is enough God says to remind you it is enough that Jesus died it is enough it is enough that he died it is enough that he died do you believe that is all that is all that is all it is enough that he died and that he died for you do you believe do you believe? Do you believe? Hallelujah. 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 Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we thank you. Indeed, it is enough. It is enough that you died, Jesus. And you died for me. You died for us. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. In that same attitude of prayer, let's just begin to pray for this nation. Hallelujah. Let us just lift up this nation before the throne of grace. In all the political turmoil, in all the social issues, and concerns that are going on let us plead the blood of Jesus over this land indeed for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son not for a select few but for everyone he so loved the world he so loved the world he created man in his own image and so loved the world let us pray. Let us pray for this land. Let's plead the blood of Jesus. Let's just allow Jesus to take complete control over every situation, the social challenges that this country is facing right now, the political issues that this country is facing right now, influencing our foreign relationships. Let us just begin to pray. Just commit this land. Commit this land. We stand as the gap. We are the children of the Most High God. We stand in the gap for this nation. We stand in the gap for this nation. We call out concern to God concerning this nation. God will hear us. Hallelujah. He will make all things right. The heart of the King is in the hand of Jehovah. The heart of the king is in the hand of Jehovah and he directs it which way he pleases. Let it go, let us hand over 
the hearts of all the politicians, the decision makers concerning the politics of this land. Let's hand their hearts over to God so that God will direct it whichever way it pleases Him. Pray for the church. This is the time for the church to speak out. This is the time for the church to be bold and declare what God has asked her to declare. Speak out for the church of the living God in this land that we will declare it. We will speak with one voice. I said the church of the living God, not every church, I'm not every gathering. I'm talking about those that believe that it is enough that Jesus died. Yes, I'm talking about those that believe we are the church. Not every gathering is a church. There are some people that Jesus will say to I what? I never knew you. It doesn't matter what is happening in their midst. Whatever miracles are happening in their midst. God will say to them that day, I never knew you. So we're talking about those who know. Who know? Who know? With an unshakable knowing that it is enough that Jesus died. Hallelujah. Let us pray for boldness. Let us pray for an, a, an infilling, a refreshing of the Holy Spirit. That we will boldly, that we will boldly declare what God has asked us to declare. Wherever we find ourselves at work, oh, it doesn't matter what they think, but we will speak what we know. On the streets, when asked, we will speak what we know. And every area that God has given us influence, we will speak what we know. We will speak what we know. Declaring that is only in Christ that eternal, permanent salvation can be had. Hallelujah. Let us begin to pray for Fountain of Life Church in God's grand scheme of things. Hallelujah. As a ministry, we will fulfill purpose. Pray for the set man. Pray for Pastor Taiwa. Pray for Pastor Namti. At this time, remember their biological children, all five. And just lift them up before the throne of grace. Declare that there will be a constant source of joy. Not only to their parents, but also to the body of Christ. Karabo satarabo shekiriarabo sataraba. Pray for their children's children. Pray for strength for Pastor Taiwo. Pray for stamina. Pray for wisdom, strength for Pastor Namti. Just lift them up before the throne of grace. Declare, just, just, just bring them before God. Ah, carry them in your heart. And just lay them before the throne of grace. Carry them in your heart and just lay them before the throne of grace. Father, we thank you for their lives. Jehovah, we worship you. Now begin to pray for every area where Fountain of Life Church is found. In Canada, in the U.S., in Dallas, also in the U.S., in South Africa, in West Africa, Togo, Benin Republic, Arabosa, Equatorial Guinea, Yerebo Shinde Kiriana Maso Toro Bobo 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 Zakariana Mashi Kiriana Masende Kiriana Maso Toro Bobo 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 Jende Kiriana Maso Toro Bobo 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 Keriana Masondo, Robo Shinde Keriana Masse Keriana Bose. Hallelujah. Now begin to pray for Fountain London. Ah. Karabosa Tacha. Zanda Keriana Masoto Robo Kukaki Arabosa. Yerakazinde Keriana Masunto Robo Bobo Bobo Kura Kakahi Katinte. Rebo Santa Roko Shinde Krina Bababa. In every area that we are trusting God for. This season of covenant possibilities, that God will fulfill each and every one of them for this ministry in the name of Jesus. Yerabos, 
Raka zeke. Raka hika kuko kuko. Because the sovereign Lord helps us. Hey, 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 hey. Because the sovereign Lord helps us. We will not be disgraced. Therefore, we have set our faces like flint. <laughs> we are marching on. We are marching on. As a ministry, we are marching on. Nothing is stopping us. In the name of Jesus, nothing can stop us. Because the sovereign Lord helps us. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we are committed to doing your will. We are committed to doing the thing that you would have us do. We are committed. We are committed to doing it, oh Lord. We are committed. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Now begin to remember the word that God spoke to you at the beginning of this year. Begin to, to declare it. Make it a declaration. Hallelujah. Declare that word. Father God, I thank you. I have insight <laughs> into the things of God. I do not go, step out of that insight, Lord. I am there, Father God, and therefore every word, everything that you have declared, every promise that you have made, they are yes in Christ and they are for me. In the mighty name of Jesus, there is nothing that the enemy can do about it. Satan can do nothing about it. In the name of Jesus, because you surround me with favor, your holy angels surround me, there is a fire around me. <laughs> Father God, I walk in your presence. Therefore, there is a wall of holy fire around me. Harabosha. Yerebosikeri da 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 da. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we give you praise. Hallelujah. mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Please help me thank the anointed great sanctuary voices. Please you may be seated. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see why we look forward to heaven? Because it will be non-stop. This side of eternity we are constrained by time. <clears throat> but when we get there, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unfailing covenant. Hallelujah. God's unfailing covenant. Can somebody please read the one? Anyone, anyone. There are two scriptures. Can, can we shout out where they are from? The first one is from where? Psalm 89. What verses? Thank you. Can someone read that? Where is the second one from? Isaiah. Praise the Lord. So can can if just get it if you get it, you know, because it might take me time to open the app on my phone. 
Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It says, nevertheless, my loving kindness I will not utterly take from him, nor allow my faithfulness. Psalm 89. Now allow my faithfulness to fail. Hallelujah. 34. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Marvelous. Other works of your hands. Okay, Psalm eighty nine, thirty three to thirty five. Can we have can we have thirty four? My covenant I will not break. Hallelujah. Nor alter the word that has gone out of my lips. You received a promise this year. That is God's remnant word to you that has gone out of his lips concerning you. He says he will not alter it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can we go to 35 please? Once I have sworn by my holiness, I will not lie to Gochi. Hallelujah. Once I have sworn by my holiness. Hallelujah. The thrice holy God has sworn. What he has spoken, he will do. Can we have Isaiah 54, 10, please? Hallelujah. And the word God gave us today is just... Hallelujah. It says, for the mountains may move and the hills disappear. But even... Then my faithful love for you will remain. Hallelujah. My covenant of blessing will never be broken. Says the Lord who has mercy on you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The covenant of peace will not be removed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Covenant of peace will not be removed says the Lord who has mercy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But my kindness shall not depart. You know what it means to be kind. You know you're kind. You just out of your volition. The person is not deserving it but you choose to be. He says my kindness. Hallelujah. And I like that. He says says God who has mercy. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. As a covenant child of God, God's mercy can never depart from you. As a covenant child of God, because Jesus walked the earth and knows our frailties, the truth is that when you stumble, what would happen is that mercy will get there and pick you up. Hallelujah. Through your transition, his mercy will hold your position. You will not lose your place. You will not lose your position. Your destiny will not be truncated in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You see, an example of God's unfailing covenant we can find in scripture. In the book of Genesis, I think it's around Genesis 11 or 12. I'm not too sure now. But when God was confirming his covenant with Abraham, put Abraham in a deep sleep and told him that for 400 years the people would be in slavery in Egypt but he would deliver them. Hallelujah. And then 400 and they were there 430 years later they were delivered. They crossed the Red Sea. Hallelujah. You see when I was just reading through something struck me. You see struck me that when God wanted to save the children of Israel, there were few then, but he needed to save them from a devastating famine. He brought them to Egypt. And then he raised up Joseph, who 
became almost like an Egyptian because he's, he was so dressed like them and spoke their language so well that even his brothers did not recognize him, even though he recognized them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But do you know the interesting thing? When it was now time to deliver the children out of Egypt, he raised another Hebrew and put him in the Egyptian palace and raised him up as an Egyptian. Hallelujah. Moses. Hallelujah. So that Moses, in all purposes, looked like an Egyptian. But when the time to deliver the children of Israel, the person he was, the Hebrew that he is, now manifested itself. Your solution is within you. You may be of the world, but you're not. You may be in the world, but you're not of it. Hallelujah. You may be in the world, but you're not of it. Hallelujah. And when God wants to deliver you, he will deliver you through your, who you are. Hallelujah. He put Joseph in Egypt to deliver and make sure and give the, I call it giving the children of Israel an incubating ground. They went in 70. They came out almost 2 million. Hallelujah. And in order to move them out as 2 million, he also raised another Hebrew but got them into the Egyptian culture so that they had an understanding of how the Egyptians think and knew how to maneuver and get the people out. Hallelujah. God will give you wisdom. He will place you in the right place. And do not worry. His word, his unfailing covenant for you will never, never, never fail in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So this month... God continues in that theme. And I want you to open with me to Mark 9.23. Hallelujah. Mark 9.23. We thank God that we are in our period of waiting on the Lord. It has really been an awesome weekend. Hallelujah. 9.23. Praise the Lord. It says, what do you mean if I can? Jesus asked, anything is possible if a person believes. Praise the Lord. Now please hold that thought and go to John 11.40. Jesus asked, what do you mean if I can? He says, anything is what? Possible to him who what? Believes. Anything is possible to him who what? Believes. 1140, Jesus is speaking again. And what does he say? He said, didn't I tell you? You will see God's glory if you what? Believe. Praise the Lord. I just want us... To welcome our season of covenant possibilities. Our season of what? Covenant possibilities. But there's a, thre a thread in both passages. The thread is what? Believe. Hallelujah. I know that the last message Pastor K preached, he talked about believing. Pastor K, please remind us what believe means. There's one, your favorite definition. To trust wholeheartedly and completely. Praise the Lord. I just want very briefly in the next less than 10 minutes. I just want us to just explore that belief a little God will help us explore it more because therein lies our entering this season of covenant possibilities. It says, if you can, anything is possible to him who believes. 
says, didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will see what? The glory of God. And the glory of God that was seen that day was somebody who had been dead four days who by all intents and purposes in that hot country and inside, you know, in the, in, in the tomb would be completely rotten. One of the fruits I smuggled back. You're saying I smuggled, yes. One, I had to pray and they say, God, look at me, I'm bringing fruits. I said, God, please, I'm sorry. One of the fruits I smuggled back was sour sop. Ha <laughs> Just two, just two. <laughs> just two. But in the belly of the plane, it was nice and strong when I packed it. But in the belly of the plane, it had gone really, because you know it's quite a delicate fruit. So it had become so soft, you know, most of it. I only brought two back, two medium-sized to the extent, because we've been waiting on the Lord, so we couldn't really enjoy it as much as we could, you know. And by the time we got to eat it, more than half of it, we'd had to, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't eat. I'm saying that to say that this body was literally already decaying in that heat. But it, was, it is impossible in human eyes. But God, who can do the impossible, raised, called Lazarus out from the grave. Hallelujah. It says, if you what? Believe. So let us explore this belief. If, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, you say, I believe. Some people, if you ask a, a, a two-year-old, even a Christian two-year-old, except you've been touching, said, do you believe in Santa Claus? People will say, you watch all these films that claim purport that Santa and trying to prove that Santa exists. Some of them will say yes, they believe in Santa Claus. Do you believe in aliens? Do you believe in Jesus? So belief, you know, you can believe in things that are neither here nor there that are, are not real. But one thing that I want to show us very briefly is this. But before that, before that, let me give an illustration. One of my relations, very intelligent, very intelligent woman. Very, very, very intelligent woman. As a matter of fact, has a PhD, has written books. Is suddenly caught up in one of these network marketing schemes that has to do with forex and believes in it so much that even when you send you know reviews to her to show and even official reviews from the government to show that this thing is not right and it's a scam she doesn't believe it she doesn't believe it she you know at home she sat me down she was talking talking that is when I called to say, hello, auntie, I'm around, that was the thing. When I said, I'm coming to see you on Saturday. I said, ah, what time? I said, there's night vigil. I'm going to come and see you in the afternoon. Ah, I would have told you to cut out your sleep. Come to this place. I said, auntie, I'm not coming. No. I was very blunt with her. I said, I'm not coming. I said, I have a very hectic program. I'm going to come from night vigil. My sleep is important to me because when I go back, I'm going back to work. So I'm not sacrificing sleep for that. Okay, okay. I will see you on Saturday then. I would have just, I would have somewhere to. Then when I went to see her, she took half an hour on and on. And I was just listening. And she was telling me the steps. I was saying, how can she see that this is a scam? How can she see that at some point she will lose everything she has invested but she couldn't because she believes. Hallelujah. But that's a belief that's founded on rubbish. But we believe on a God that can what? Never fail. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do I have believers in the house? Do I have believers in the house? Do I have believers in the house? The other thing I want us to really understand about belief, and I think I'll just use this one illustration and I'll stop. We would 
we will go into it deeper. But look at Peter. Look at Judas. They were both disciples. Okay, The scriptures, John 6, 66 to about 70. Read it in your own time. Jesus had finished feeding the 5,000. And he had, and you know, he said some really hard things and people left. So he was asking his disciples, do you people still believe in me? They said, yes, we still believe in you. Jesus said, have I not chosen the 12? Yet there is one of you who will betray me. Who though I have chosen you, I know you don't really believe. Now what happens in the end is that both Judas and Peter were there when Jesus said this thing. Judas betrayed, Peter denied. Peter was restored, Judas died. Peter was restored because he believed. Judas didn't really believe because if he really believed, he would have known that somebody was, had to, Jesus had to go to the cross. So just as the death of Jesus is celebrated today, how can you celebrate somebody being murdered? If Judas had really believed, that act of betrayal would have been celebrated because that betrayal led Jesus to the cross. Praise the Lord. But because he did not believe, when he, he was, he had, he was sorry, he had a remorsefulness that did not lead to repentance. The one that Paul wants us about. Hallelujah. He says, you know, like Judas who had a remorsefulness that did not lead to repentance. Instead, he decided to take his own life. Praise the Lord. Two people side by side. One believed, denied three times. Even swore that I've never known this. You know, you go and read it yourself. It's very interesting. But we also saw here, I think I have said it here before, how God ensured that for every single denial, he was restored. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead. My brothers and my sisters, if you believe, there is no dead situation. If you believe, there is no lost dream. If you believe, there is no lost cause. If you believe, nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. Hallelujah. As we take our communion, we celebrate being partakers of that same power that raised Jesus from the dead. The power to heal, the power to restore, the power to rebuild, the power to forgive. Hallelujah. The power of mercy. Mercy. Ha ha ha. Mercy that allows us hold our position through our transition. Hallelujah. The power of that mercy is at work in our lives. Hallelujah. So be it whatever area, be it business, be it in your relationships. You know, some of us are in some relationships and we've decided, okay, this is it. You may not be getting the best out of it, but you've decided that, okay, just like that woman, we're, we're, let's stick along. Let's stick along. Let's just carry on. God is saying that I can bring joy back into that relationship. I can bring joy back into that relationship. Hallelujah. As we take this wine, as we take this bread, we proclaim what? The Lord's death until he comes. We proclaim forgiveness. We proclaim health. We proclaim restoration. We proclaim that we are dead to sin. We proclaim that we are alive to righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. We proclaim that everything is possible to us who believe. Because that same power 
that raised Jesus from the dead, that power is at work in our lives if we believe. If we believe. If we believe. Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we give you praise. Father, we worship you, Lord. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, for the grace and power in your bro the broken body of Jesus and in the shed blood of Jesus. And as, have, as we have received the broken body of Jesus and the shed blood of Jesus, Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, let a big work of restoration start in our lives now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, for restoration of the spirit, soul, and body. For restoration, Lord God Almighty, of everything past, present, and future. For the restoration of every blessings you have for us. Father, we thank you, Lord, for restoration spiritually, financially, emotionally, mentally, physically, maritally, Total restoration, Lord God Almighty. That is what our Lord Jesus paid for. We, re we receive everything our Lord Jesus paid for in the name of Jesus. And Father, thank you, Lord, because we are not settling for less. In Jesus' name, praise the living God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Shall we rise, please? This season, this month is our month of covenant possibilities. Praise the living God. And he says, my covenant with you shall never fail. Because I will not lie to you. My covenant with you shall not fail. Praise the living God. So since it's our season of covenant possibilities, praise the living God, it means that it's our season of possibilities. It's our season of covenant possibilities. In the name of Jesus. Covenant possibilities. Where the impossible becomes possible. Our God specializes in impossibilities. Praise the living God. He specializes in impossibilities. And like God has been leading us, if you go through the Bible, you discover that any time God wants to move his muzzle in the way of impossibilities, he releases his glory. Praise the living God. He releases his glory. When he wanted to show Moses, he said, Moses, Moses said, let me see your glory. He told Moses, you cannot see my face, but I will show the living God. What would have happened if he had seen the side face of God? Not even his full face, just his back. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. When it was the turn of Mary, and the very was supposed to give birth without a man, he says, the power of God will overshadow you. Praise the living God. The glory of God will overshadow you. So whatever it is, this morning we are putting the glory of God in that situation. Praise the living God. Anything you put the glory of God on must bow. In the name of Jesus. I just want you to imagine in your mind whatever it is, bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. We are going to put the glory of God on that thing this morning. And it can never, nothing can resist the glory of God. The Bible says this light shines. This light of the glory of God. It shines in the darkness. And no darkness can comprehend, resist, or survive it. Praise the living God. Whatever it is, this morning we are going to put the glory of God on it. Hallelujah to Jesus. When we put the glory of God on it, we leave that issue, we leave that problem to the owner of the glory and his glory. And let's see who will survive. Praise the living God. Hallelujah to Jesus. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we sanctify this oil. We consecrate this oil to you. And we ask, Lord God Almighty, that as your glory, Lord God Almighty, descended on the mountain, and even the children of Israel could not come closer. Your word says that even if an animal comes closer to the mountain, that the animal shall die. Your glory was so powerful, Lord God Almighty, 40 days after when Moses came down, they couldn't even look at his face. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want that glory here. We release that glory because you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore in the name of Jesus. We, Father, you are no respecter of persons. You are not the son of man that you should lie. Neither are you man that you should repent. Have you said it? Will you not do it? Have you spoken it? Will you not bring it to pass? Father, in the name of Jesus, on the integrity of your word, Father, we release your glory this morning here in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, in Jesus' name. The same glory that fell on Virgin Mary and a virgin brought forth our Lord Jesus Christ without the help of a man. Father, that same glory we release here this morning in Jesus' name. Father, you told Mary and Martha, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. Father, that glory you showed Mary and Martha that day, we receive it here this morning in Jesus' name. Because, Lord, you are no respecter of persons. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. The same glory, the same glory, the same glory in the name of Jesus. Now, we'll pass this oil around. Just dip your hand in it and hold your hand. Hallelujah. And begin to speak in, pray in the Holy Ghost. And if you don't know what to say, just be shouting the same glory. The same glory. The same glory. The same glory. Ah, sharababababa. Shakataraba. The same glory. The same glory that raised Jesus from the dead. The same glory that catapulted him into heaven. That when he was going, the Bible said they saw him, he was going. He used the airwaves as staircase and he was walking to heaven. His glory that carried him. Ah, shara bra ba 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 ba. The same glory is present here. Ah, shakaba, 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 shakaba. Ah, ra ba 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 ba. The same glory that raised the son of the widow of Ah Shenari Roko Sataraba. The same glory. Ah Shakapa. The same glory. The same glory. The same glory that appeared on the day of Pentecost. Ah Sharaba. On the day of Pentecost, he decided to appear by fire. Ah, Sira, bro, bo, 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 bo. And the tongues of fire were on their head. And there was like a mighty rushing wind. And all of them, they started speaking in other tongues because the glory of God touched them. In the name of Jesus, this morning, the glory of God will touch every man, every woman, every boy, every girl here this morning. In the name of Jesus, if you believe it, shout seven hallelujahs. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Now raise those hands up, hallelujah. Bring up the situation. Bring it up. We challenge that situation to come and face the glory of God this morning. Whatever it is, we challenge it. Indebtedness, come out and face the glory of God. Oh, sickness, sin, and disease, easily besetting sin, raise it up this morning. Rave it up. Bring it up. Let them br bring it up. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on to come and face the glory of God this morning. Peter and John said, silver and gold have we none. But what we have, the glory of God, we give to you. The, 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 the lame man stood up. Hallelujah to Jesus. They put the glory of God on the man. He jumped up. Masukapata. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Ghost. Now lay that hand on your forehead. That your hand is, has become the hand of the glory of God. Is the hand of the glory of God now. And as we release the glory this morning, whatever situation it is, see that situation face the glory of God. Face the glory of God. We put the glory of God on you. We say the glory of God is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Brethren, receive life. Receive the fire of the glory of God. Receive the glory of God. Receive the fire of the glory of God. Receive the fire of the glory of God. Father, we give you all the honor and glory. Hallelujah.